The Walking Dead, Issue 68. The boss, whoever's calling the shots, i really like to speak with them. My name is Aaron. I'm not here to fight, I don't have any weapons. Seriously, just want to talk. Cool. Where did you come from? Were you watching us? Full disclosure? Yeah. But I was just listening to you guys talk, just to make sure you weren't dangerous or anything. Just so we're clear, that was not a let's attack this man look. That was a seems like a nice guy to me look. I'm confused. I don't care if he didn't have any weapons. I don't care if he's alone. He's not survived this long alone. But I don't know about you, but from my experience, people are dangerous. I see someone who's overly friendly, and I see the governor. That guy was all smiles when we met him. Help me tie him up. Waking up. <coughs> Guess that makes you the leader then. Can I get your name? My name is Rick, and you're going to answer all of my questions. No exceptions. That's why I'm here. To talk. We could have done this without the violence, Rick, but I know what it's like out here. Trust ain't easy. I don't hold it against you. Good man. I appreciate that. How many people are in your group? I don't know. 34 or so? I think we're still under 40. That many? Where are they? In our community. He's on the other side of DC, about 20 miles away. Why are you here? I'm a kind of recruiter, I guess. I promise, I was only spying on you to make sure that your group would fit in. I think that's what I mean to say. Been watching you for a while, you seem like a nice bunch of folks. The kid doesn't like oatmeal. It's funny. I know you're having trouble finding food. That's common around here. We pretty much exhausted all the supplies in this area. We have stockpiles of food, we have security walls, we have room for all of you. I promise you, our community is everything you've been looking for. I'm here to invite you to audition for membership. You've got a safe, secure place to live, and you're just travelling around inviting people in. What's in it for you? There's a lot of work to be done to maintain what we have. We need you as much as you need us. I'm sure that each and every one of you comes with a skill set and a level of expertise that will enrich our community. It's a whole thing. <coughs> Shit! Everyone okay? You kids need to be more careful. These things shouldn't be able to sneak up on us. I'm just right, Carl. You need to be more careful. Look! Everyone in the truck. We're getting out of here. There's no telling how many more of them are in the woods. Hurry! Wait, you heard your dad. Now come on. You should get in the truck. I can protect myself. Don't worry about it. You got a plan? Let's make sure we're not dealing with only 10 rumors. I don't want to flip out and drive in the wrong direction. Help! Help! Untie me, goddammit! Hold on! Don't let them close to the truck! You better not be a bad guy. Shit! God damn it. We've got it covered over here, guys. Glenn. I gave him a gun. Sorry, was kind of in the moment. Did you have to give him that gun? Not to worry, friend. I see no reason to hold on to this thing. I trust you people, and I'm only asking for the tiniest bit of trust back in return. What do you say to my invitation? Wow, Aaron. You don't miss a beat, do you? Why are you in such a hurry? There's some kind of cutoff for membership in your little community? Maybe I just care more about your friends than you do. Actually, let me apologize for that now. Comments like that don't help anyone. Forgive my snark. It's late. It's only getting later. We've got no time to set up camp, and we're not in a safe location after this shootout. I've got a lot of pressing matters to deal with right now. I'm sure you understand. We can sleep in the vehicles. Keep a couple more extra people up from the night watch to be safe. We should be fine. You're welcome to stay with us overnight. We can discuss the business with you in the morning, Aaron. No. Fuck that. I'm sorry, but I'm going with him. 
He's got a group of nearly 40 people walled in a neighborhood and he's inviting us into it. And from what I can gather, all he asks in return is that we contribute to the community, help in whatever way we can. What is there to even think about? I know you're skeptical, but think about it. A community like that would need people to maintain it. It's like he says, he needs us as much as we need him. Rick, I get it. You don't want to risk another Woodbury. I remember the governor. Trust me. This man is nothing like him. I can tell. If we don't do this, if we let this pass us by, what are we doing here? What is our purpose? Do we just continue on being miserable, near starved and desperate? Is that our goal? I thought the point of this was to find something like this. Something exactly like what Aaron is offering us. I'm sorry, but I don't care about anyone else. No matter what you decide, I at least am going with him. I'm with Michonne. I'm going too. Me too. Yeah, I'm in. Rosita? Sure, we'll give it a shot. We could have discussed this tomorrow, everyone. I wasn't going to stand here and decide for everyone. I just thought this was something we needed to think about. I don't need to think about it. I'm starving. If there's food, I'm there. Well, that's most of you. Good. Dad? Okay. If this is what everyone wants, okay. Aaron will stay with us tonight. We'll leave first thing in the morning. Let's get some sleep. Hurry. They're going to leave without us. Looks like it, doesn't it? Guess Abraham's hungrier than he let on, getting us on the road at the crack of dawn. You okay with this? You're the only one who never spoke up. You want to do this? Doesn't matter, does it? Andrea, if you have a problem with this guy, I'd like to know that. He give you a bad feeling? This guy? No, Aaron seems like a nice enough guy. Rick, listen. When Amy and I were living in the RV with Dell before you even made it to the camp, I realized my parents were probably dead. That was hard. Then, I lost Amy. I felt so alone. It drove me into Dale's arms, and I fell in love with him. Then Donna died, followed by Alan, and Dale and I were left to raise Ben and Billy. I had a family. I'm 26 years old, over the course of a year, I inherited a family. I grew up, I loved the woman I became, and the life I had, and now, it's all gone. I'm all alone. And all I can think about is how I'm that girl again. The girl I was, the one I didn't like. All I have left is you, all of you. You're the only things left to remind me of what I can be. The only things keeping me from being truly alone. I'd follow you people straight into hell. Let's hope that's not what you're doing. What the hell? Why are we stopping so soon? What is... Oh, shit. Hands up! Any sudden moves and I put one in your brain, stranger. Tell everyone to come out of the woods now or you die! Stop! No! He's alone! He's with me! Are you insane? You couldn't tell us about him before? Any more surprises, Aaron? Rick, we talked about trust. It's not easy to come by out here. This is my partner, Eric. He's my insurance policy. I didn't tell you about him because he's supposed to kill you and save me if you turn out to be bad people. You knocked me out, I let it slide. I only asked for the same consideration here. One more person steps out of those woods and I'm killing everyone. Think you might tell us now if anyone else is coming out? I promise this is it. We're a two-man operation. We move faster that way. We usually spot groups from high ground and follow them around. We observe as long as we can, depending on how fast the group is moving. That dictates how fast we have to make a decision on making contact or not. There's no one else out here. We listen to you. I decided that you were worth talking to. I always go in alone to appear less threatening. How long were you spying on us? How did we never notice you? We didn't have to get very close. Sound quality is not perfect, but this thing can pick up a conversation from a hundred yards away. Load all your weapons and supplies into the back of our van. You get them back when we arrive at your perfect camp. Safely. Deal? Deal. I know what this is like. I know how uncertain you must feel. But I promise you won't regret this. You will eventually learn. You can trust me. I would love for nothing else than that to be true. Everybody pile in. Let's move! Aaron? Yeah. Next time, no more overnighters, okay? My nerves can't take it. It had to be done, Eric. 
It was hard to get these people to trust me. Rushing them out in the middle of the night would not have worked. These people are great. They're tough as nails, but good at heart. We need these people. Abraham, stop. I trust this guy, and that scares me to death. I don't know if we're doing the right thing here. You've got a read on him. Before Eugene, I used to think I was pretty good at spotting a liar. Seems like he's on the level, but really, how can you ever tell? What I do know is, we're running out of food, and his offer is too good to pass up. Agreed. But keep an eye on him. Any surprise along the way? Anything that doesn't seem right, shoot him in the head. When something seems too good to be true, it usually is.